All right, it's a little chilly out here today, but hey, that's no reason not to enjoy this highly rated Cuban cigar that hails by the name of Trinidad Bahia. Looking forward to this smoke. Okay, real quick, if you're into cigar reviews and cigar-related artwork, consider clicking that subscribe button. Now let's get on to the Trinidad Bahia review. Now the Trinidad Bahia, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, it's not only my first Trinidad Bahia I've had, it's also the first Trinidad I've had. And if you take a look at this cigar, if I take away the fact that it's a Cuban, and here in America, Cubans are kind of the holy grail of cigars. I'm sure that's also the case in other parts of the world as well. But if you take away the fact that it's Cuban, you remove this band and just kind of look at the cigar, it's really not that attractive of a stick. I mean, this cigar has a lot of imperfections, it has some large seam lines, it's very roughly looking rolled. It's just an ugly cigar, if I'm being honest. Now, it does have some cool aspects to it. The bands, for me, the band's kind of plain. It's an okay looking band. I do like the pigtail at the top of it. It's pretty cool looking. Just appearance wise, it's just not that impressive of a cigar. But I've looked up this cigar before. My understanding is that it tastes amazing. So I'm more interested in the flavors than how it looks as well. But if you're gonna judge, you know, apples to apples, you know, Cuban cigars with Americans, I think it's only fair that you take away the Cuban aspect of it, at least here in America, and you judge it on its appearance. And appearance wise, just not really impressed with it. All right, that's enough of that. So let's cut this guy up, light it up, and see what it's all about. Okay, I'm early into the cigar, and the thing that stands out the most for me is that the smoke's just very smooth. Now, I'm having a little bit of a hard time identifying all the flavors in the smoke. I do pick up what tastes kind of something like leather. There's definitely like a peppery bite. I'm not exactly sure if it's black pepper though, but in the retro hell, and even when I'm drawing on cigar, there is this spice and this peppery bite that I'm detecting. But for the most part, it's just a very smooth tasting cigar. So I think we're off to a pretty good start. I'll keep working on this and I'll come back with an update here towards the end of the first third. Okay, I'm a good third into the stick. The flare's been consistent with my last update. It's just mainly a smooth smoke when you're drawing on the cigar. Now the retro hell's completely different. The retro hell for me, I pick up a lot of spice, a lot of pepper. It's almost like you're smoking two completely different cigars at that point. And there was stages where the retro hell was so intense that I felt the back of my sinuses and throat starting to go numb. However, now the retro hells seem to have mellowed out some, and it's just more of a smooth tasting stick. A little bit more flavors than the draw, but I think it's a pretty easy cigar to smoke. Now, the burns where I'm really having issues with this stick. As you can see, my wrapper's popped here, so it's been a complete mess. The burn's been crooked from earlier on. I'm going to have to touch that up, and hopefully I can kind of fix the wrapper issues too. But right here in this area, the wrapper's splitting all the way to the band. Uh, the draw on it though, however, was a little tight at first, and that's loosened up. I think the draw's pretty good now. It's just the burn in the wrapper that's having a problem. Okay, we're two-thirds down now, and the flavors in the cigar really picked up in the second third. I picked up a lot more of the spice, but however, it's a very unique spice. It's not a spicy flavor that I've tasted before in other cigars. It's got a unique flavor to it. And as with the first third of this stick, I'm just having a hard time identifying exactly what all those flavors are. Now, this cigar at times is earthy. At times, it has a little bit of a nuttiness as well. But predominantly, it's mainly that spice in that second third that I taste. And it's actually a pretty good flavor. Now, construction-wise, uh, the wrapper splitting issues seems to... I've been able to fix that. However, the burn for me has just been kind of a headache. I've had to touch up the burn a couple times. The smoke output's completely dropped off a couple times, so I've had to relight the cigar. So I've had definitely some construction issues with this stick. Now, unfortunately, this is my only one of this stick. I, I don't have any extra to see if it's just this cigar. I have a feeling that the problems with the cigar are particular with this individual stick and not the brand itself. It's just, unfortunately, I don't have any extra ones to, to test that theory with. But I'd say overall, it's been a good cigar. Very smooth smoke. I enjoy the taste. I'm definitely enjoying it. It's not something that I would say is completely blowing me away, but it is a good tasting cigar. At this stage, I would recommend it, and I would definitely smoke it again. But I still have a third to go, so let me keep working on it, and let's see if this cigar changes here at the final third. Okay, I'm at the end of the journey on this one. This cigar is getting pretty warm now. I'm starting to feel a zing on my lips. Uh, overall, I'd say the final third was pretty consistent with the second third. It's mainly just that spice, that unique spice that I'm picking up in the cigar. And I'd say the biggest takeaway still with the cigar is that the smoke's very smooth. The experience of it to me outweighed the actual flavors. The flavors weren't bad, it's just the experience with, with the smooth smoke was much more enjoyable than the, uh, I would say, kind of like the mild type flavors that I picked up in this stick. 
but I did enjoy it. I would smoke it again. I would be curious to see if the construction issues I had with the cigar are consistent with other ones. So I would like to try it again just to see if it's a more consistent smoke. Definitely a good cigar. Definitely one I recommend. And if you've had the cigar, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about it. And I'll see you guys on the next review.